I joined the NHS because I wanted to make a difference, really. I wanted to be part of something that was there for people, for everyone, and to hopefully give them the care that I thought I could to make it better. People that you work with um, share a common set of beliefs and ideas and uh, values about why they come to work and what gets them up in the morning and what you're trying to do. Yeah, so there's a kind of shared value set. The second um, uh, thing for me is, is that it, uh, it is something that um, we have to do. So if you're going to be driven by values, it means you have to redesign everything that you do. Health Education East of England as the Let Be um, has an ambition to be the best Let Be, which means that we'll deliver the best education and training, uh, the best leadership opportunities and also the best quality of care to patients. Essentially, what the NHS has given me is the most exciting career I could have imagined. I've worked in a range of different settings. I've worked in um, accident and emergency, in care of the elderly units. I've worked in a number of different countries, including the Sudan and the United States. And it's given me the most tremendous opportunities throughout my career. My first day at the NHS was very exciting, but also nerve-wracking. A new member of staff to the NHS can expect really good experience um, an environment that is going to support personal development and learning and a supportive developmental environment generally. The yeah, LEPI is a fantastic place to work. We've got a great team, really good morale. Despite all the changes and difficulties we've been facing in the past few months, I think we've done remarkably well keeping our heads up, and providing and delivering a service which is excellent. My mother said, you really ought to go to university because I left school at 16, didn't have any A-levels. And then I thought, I know, I'll be a doctor. I think if everyone had said, that's a great idea, I never would have done it. But they said I was too old, and at 24 it's tough to hear that. And they said I wouldn't get the A-levels, and I wouldn't get a place, and that was like a red rag to a bull. So here I am. Why did I choose career medicine? Um, I love working with people. I, I love um, meeting different people every day. I like my sciences. I find it very interesting. And I like to think that at the end of the day, um, that I, I do help people. Well, obviously, starting any new job is both a bit daunting, um, but also quite exciting. Um, and everyone was very friendly and eased me into the role. And I think that's part of what being in the NHS is about. My first day, I really felt happy, comfortable, and like I was welcomed into the team and yeah I'd really just encourage everyone to come and work for the NHS because you will feel happy on your first day. I was commuting to London and I'd been doing that for a long time and found it very tiring so I wanted a job closer to home and actually the reason I um, took a job in my local hospital was it made me feel very much a part of my local community and again I could see a direct link between my role and something that affected each and every one of us on a day-to-day on a -day basis. It's a career goal for me to be in the NHS so hopefully in 15-16 months time I'll be able to apply for my first job and get into the NHS um, and it, yeah it just seems like a great organisation it's providing a great service for, for everyone um, of the highest care so I can't think of anywhere better to work. Well, I think sort of the opportunities it provides for its employers in terms of continuing our professional development so allowing us to expand our knowledge and build upon our skills is something that is really important to the NHS which means and really important to myself and being able to do that I think that's really what brings me towards the NHS and also it's such an amazing institution that I really think um, I almost haven't then find it, I want to give something back to the NHS and that's what brings me to it. And education and training, I believe, is the ingredients to success. And when we talk about good clinicians and good care, that wouldn't happen if we didn't have good education and good development opportunities for our staff. And that's why I wanted to be part of health education in England, and particularly in the east of England, because I think we have a fantastic opportunity to drive the workforce for the future, but also to excite our staff so that we continue to provide good services to our patients and of a very high quality. It is 
and does have a real family feel about it at the moment. Everybody's respectful, courteous to each other, um, wanting to help people get on to do the best job they can to make sure that we're providing quality education for students and therefore quality uh, healthcare for patients. I think the thing that's made it so important is the pride that we should all feel in working in the NHS because it's a wonderful institution. We mostly get care exactly right and on the occasions when we get it wrong we've got a commitment to making sure that we don't do it again. We're committed to making it a good place to work through engaging staff, through supporting development and looking at the work environment, all of those sorts, sorts of things. It's not happening by accident. We're committed to it and we're resourcing it and so we've got some good people um, engaged in helping us to, uh, to lead. In applying to join the NHS, whether you come to work as an employee or you come as a student, you've already shown that you're interested in helping people and in caring for people. You've demonstrated values that are really important to us. What you can expect is those same values back from us. You can expect to be valued, you can expect to be developed, and you can expect opportunities to develop and opportunities to care for others. You can expect to make a difference. It's really privileged. It's a really great place to be. You're with people at one of the best times of their lives and also the most vulnerable really, so it's nice just to be part of that.